All new here on the night team, police in Radcliffe are asking for your help tonight. The Hardin County community has experienced three armed robberies in just one week. So are they connected? Heather Fontaine is digging into this case. It shows us the suspects for this week's Crime Stoppers. There's trouble in Radcliffe, Kentucky. Three armed robberies in the span of less than a week. Security cameras rolling during these quick but terrifying moments. Forces the clerk at gunpoint up to the register. The first two happened less than 12 hours apart. Do you guys believe that these could be related? We're looking at every aspect that, that could possibly be taking place. And the third had two suspects. It's extremely alarming. We're a small community. We all live here. About an hour south of Louisville, Radcliffe is home to 22,000 people, including Radcliffe Police Detective Joseph Gonzalez. What is going on? What, 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 what's, what's happening in our city? The uh, first call was at a liquor store here in Radcliffe. Uh, happened up earlier in the day. It was February 2nd before 11 a.m. He's looking for the clerk. You see him draw his weapon. The surveillance video shows him forcing the clerk to the register, a gun pointed at her at all times. I believe she dropped some of the money, and that's when he was like, no, oh, put it in the bag. His face mostly covered, and the suspect wore gloves. And this one, after he got the money, he went back and he grabbed some uh, cigarillos. And then he was gone. Hell. Gray hoodie. 11 hours later, just a mile down the road. This is our bad guy that was walking in. Gray sweatpants, black shoes. Another armed robbery, this one at the Minute Mart. This suspect also grabs a plastic bag for the cash. He's helping her mm -hmm. take the money, is that usual? He was in a hurry. This suspect wears gloves too, and look closely at the gun. A peculiar color, much like the one used in the first robbery. We believe it's some, for, some uh, type of Glock pistol. We're not sure what type. But yeah, you're right, it's got a stainless steel slot. In less than five minutes, he leaves with the money. Police wouldn't tell us how much. He took a left and headed south down uh, US 31 towards uh, Elizabethtown. In a car? Nope, he was on foot at that point. Terrifying multiple uh, hold up alarms, that would hold up in bathroom hold up. In this incident, two individuals, uh, one matching the description of the other two robberies, and then a second individual uh, entered the Hibbit Sports just before closing. Hey, man, we have blue jeans on. Security cameras weren't able to capture what happened inside of Hibbit Sports, but Detective Gonzalez described a more physical encounter. They physically accosted the male clerk that was in the store, placed him in a headlock, put a gun to his head, and uh, they placed a the gun to uh, the female manager's head and forced her to, to, uh, to give him the money. It alludes to the fact that the uh, perpetrators are emboldened. Um, they're, they're, up, they're upping the ante in regards to the steps they're taking. They knew what they wanted to do. They knew they wanted to get in and out fast. No one has been severely hurt in any of these armed robberies, but Detective Gonzalez worries if it continues, it could get worse. What we don't want to see is an escalation, an escalation of tactics to the point where somebody actually gets hurt or injured or killed. If you know who this might be or have an, any kind of hint of who this might be, uh, would you want to put your family, your loved ones in that kind of predicament when you knew you could have prevented it in the future? We're talking about three different armed robberies here, but police say it's possible they could all be related. Let's take one last look at those suspects caught on surveillance video. Their faces are covered and gloves were worn during each robbery. And another look at that gun that was used. Police describe this one as having a stainless steel slide. If you recognize any of the people in these photos, do your community, the police department, and yourself a favor. Leave an anonymous tip and stop these robbers from potentially striking again. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Heather Fountaine.